Last quarter, Wolves and West Newcastle vs Kalani Vale. Wolves and club umpire are about to letting them know that they're ready to go. Sign goes. We're off and away. Sorry, it's Wood and Garside in the ruck. Morales kicks it nice and high. And Clowney Vale are kicking to the left once again. Ross and O'Connor gets it out. But look who gets it back. Bethany Wood. And good mark there from Carmen Lennon. And Carmen goes up high towards Sarah Leslie. Leslie, a nice kick. Another good kick there from Kelsey Acton. A good hip and shoulder from both of them. Shoulder each other, Bethany Wood and Sarah Leslie. Just Kelleher picks up the football and get, almost gets away. A good tackle against her from Lisa Morales. Oh, I think someone's down. Roslyn O'Connor's down. I hope she's alright because another injury. Wolves and West Newcastle Swans will seriously not do, even though by no doubt they are not making finals. As they are 16th and last on the ladder. And it's the last round anyway. And even if they were to win today, they need to kick 128 points, which is what Kalani Vale have kicked against them. So 18, 20, 128 points. The Mighty Bombers have scored so far. And a good kick, and who will get there? Megan Jenkins will. I think, oh no, it's Bell Jenkins actually. It wasn't how familiar they look, it was the number. She manages to quickly get it out though. to get the game up and running. Megan Jenkins almost gets out. She kind of did. She managed to get the ball out, but not herself completely. Good kick from Eslick. On Butters, Georgia Butler's back on after copping a massive hit in the third quarter. And right over the top, Pagey will take the mark against Grace Dixon. And tell her, yeah, nah, it's my ball, it's my mark, I'm going to have a shot for goal. And increase the lead for, for, and increase the lead from 128 to 134. And I reckon that will be a goal, and, and it is. Goal umpire says, yep, all clear, that's your goal, now you can celebrate. So it will be 19 goals, 20, 134. So just 16 points short of breaking the biggest winning margin. They're only 16 points short, but I'm sure they can kick 16 more points against these Swannies. Kelleher running hard. A good kick there from McCloskey. <coughs> and actually, oh, that's Courtney Barnett. Courtney Barnett will handle it out to 40 Walters. To dribble it along the ground, Courtney Barnett will kick it to the right. Tanika Eslick will take it and kick it nice and long. Yeah. And Ashley Page will take that beautiful mark. So this should be an easy goal for her. Goal number 20. So, yep, too easy shot for goal for her. And too easy goal for the Bombers. So that will be... 20 goals, 20. 
Yep. Yeah, Goal umpire just taking his time to get the flags out. So 20, 20, 140. So now they're just 10 points off of breaking the biggest winning margin. But it won't be the Swans' biggest losing margin though. They lost by 200 points to Wild Lakes a few weeks ago. Anyway, Courtney Barnett, a bit of swerving and dodging and turning, manages to get out. And Justin Kelleher has the ball and gets it out. So, good job on her for getting it out because she was under a lot of pressure. And looked like she was being held when she did have the ball. And as the amount of goals and behinds were the same. Clannyvale have scored more behinds than goals now, once again. So Claudia Walters pops it to the right. Almost a goal. And Ashley Page takes the football and scores instead. The men's team warn warming up in the background. The men's team of the second last on the ladder. They've scored two wins over Nelson Bay and Wyong Lakes. Last week wasn't a very good result. We kept scoreless against the top side Newcastle City. Don't remember what City scored though, but unfortunately the Wolves End boys didn't score at all. But all the best for both Wolves End West Newcastle and Clarebell sides up next black diamond plate. So Georgia Butler has the football and pops it out over to Tanika Reslick. Sky Bailey handball, tries handballing it out and it's blocked by Dixon and it goes out on the full. And don't you just hate it when the football goes out on the full. It's just wasting time to score. But anyway, at least it's a Kalani Val free kick and Sky was paid the kick and a good kick from Georgia Butler. It's just fallen a bit too short to the right. So 147 it will sit at. Oh no, it should be 148 I believe, yeah. So 21 goals, 22 points, 148 points. Claudia Walters tries getting it out and she does. A good kick from Garside. Megan Jenkins almost takes the mark. Gets it out to Gregory who misses it completely as well. Good kick from Kelleher out to Eslick. Eslick takes the mark. Another goal will set the even amount but once again. Ashley Page. A bit of dodging and turning. A good kick from Eslick. Who's it to? It's to Sky Bailey. She might be able to have another shot for goal if she takes her time well. And by that I mean she'll have to take it well. And she already kicked it and that'll be another behind. So good kick there from the fullback for the Swans. A lot of pressure being put there against Jenkins. And Barnett runs right past the ball. And we're nearly at the halfway point of the final quarter. Eslick kicks the goal. And Butler goes for goal. And goal. 155 to 0. Kalani Vale's biggest winning margin has officially been broken.
so 23, I think it might be goal number 22 actually. Yep, 22, 23, 155. Which has surpassed the previous biggest win, which was 150 to 0 over the entrance Bado Bay. And that win surpassed last last year's round six victory over Musselbrook at home, 144 to 0. So, yep, happy days, Kalani Vale. Some good handballing action between the Swans. Dixie Butler goes to intercept, and she does, and gets it out to Eslick. And I wonder who has the ball. I think Carmen Lennon had it. Oh, would that be a goal? No, I reckon that might be a behind, and it is. Oh, no, it's a goal. Oh, and another goal from the Bombers, so better make that 23, 23, 161. Thus further increasing their massive lead, and we've just passed the halfway point of the final quarter. An absolute shocker of a win this will be. De will definitely give Wang Lakes and... Newcastle City Novas and other clubs out there a bit of a scare into how good the mighty Clarny Vale Bombers are. If they can kick an extra 39 points then that will make it 200. And we'll have about 8 minutes left and Clarny Vale Playing hard, Wolves End, although getting smashed by 161 points, they're still not backing down easy. Oh no. And another tight contest. Both teams fighting hard for the football and a good kick from Tash Gugri. Just played pretty well since... Her recent return from Europe, where she visited Santorini in Greece. A good kick from Georgia Butler, who will get there? Sky Bailey almost gets there. She goes to pick it up. A lot of pressure. Carmen Lennon gets it out, though. And who will get there? Belle Jenkins will. She's all by herself. A good kick. Right to Rebecca Garside of the away side. But even she manages to fumble the ball as well. Butterfingers. Now who will get there in time? Don't know. Georgia Butler will and gets it out to Dixie Butler. Dixie Butler goes for a shot. Maybe not for goal, but for a teammate, for them to have a shot at goal. And Sky Bailey took the mark. And Ashley Page... She, she'll need to run hard against Grace Dixon and a few others. Keep working, Bale. A good tackle Whoa. from Sky Bailey. Good tackle, good tackle. So Sky Bailey won't be paid the free kick, unfortunately. The umpire will call it upon himself. So some good job in the ruck there. Good kick from Dixie Butler. And a good spoil there. A good spoil from Lorelei Stockett. Who I haven't paid much attention to for the Swans until now once again. And I think that might be another goal. It might be. And yeah, I reckon that's a goal. And it is. So 24-23. So now it's more goals than behinds for the away side. 167 to 0 still. About six minutes left, I'd say, about. So Kalani Vale still continuing their strong form and using this win, which I predict will be more than 167 points. To provide a massive scare 
towards other teams. Good kick from Eslick. Good mark from Butler. And another good mark there from Morales, I believe it is. And yep, that's Morales, all right. That kick. Claudia Walters up against Roslyn O'Connor. Kelleher comes away with the ball, and that's a bit too far to the right there. It's lucky. She, lucky she didn't boot that ball over the net. It also would have gone into the possibly snake and other creepy crawly infested swamp there. A good kick from Tanika Reslick. Sky Bailey will take the mark also. Sun's behind a cloud. And who will get there? It's another tight contest between both sides. And Carmen Lennon gets away with it. A good kick out. And Kelsey Acton goes to pick it up. And then sees it roll out on the full. So about four minutes left. So who has the football and will it be a free kick or a throw in? It will be a throw in. Starting to get a bit darker again as the sun goes behind the clouds. Maybe not. Some good hands there from Dixie Butler. Another tight contest and another mark from Jocelyn Kelleher. Kelleher needs to look for a target. And I think that target might be a goal. Not, for, not just then though. Joss Kelleher goes for goal. And that's goal. That is goal. So 25, 24, 174. The scoreline will sit out with about three minutes left. So Wolves and West Newcastle club umpire has the football ready to get the play up and going. So club, Wolves and club umpire throws the ball up. Actually does a good job with umpiring. Especially for a new club. A nice kick from Kelleher. I wonder who it was supposed to be. I wonder who it was for though. As they gets it out, pops it to the side. Could this be a goal? No. Grace Dixon has managed to get in front of it. Ashley Page tackles her when she didn't have the ball. And McCloskey almost got it out. Good handball from Morales to O'Connor. And who will get there? Tash Gregory. We'll almost get there. She almost took the mark. Just not that time. Another good kick and who will get there? Sarah Leslie. Nice kick. Nice long kick. And I think Hannah Williams got a bit confused into what way she was going. Kelsey Acton, nice kick, and a good spoil there from, a good spoil from Stockett, and who will get there, can Georgia Butler get there, and Georgia Butler goes for a shot, and there will be another behind, probably about less than a minute left to go I'd say, less than a minute, Yep, just seconds remaining. Kalani Vale to win 20 goals 
I mean, 25 goals, 25 behinds, 175 to zero. The Mighty Bombers have played absolutely awesome this season. So the siren will go. Black Diamond AFL 2018 Women's is over. Bring on finals. The biggest win for the Kalani Vale women's team. 20 goals, 25 goals and behinds equaling 175 points to zero. What a way to end the season with the biggest win since fielding for the first time in 2016. And also a farewell to Lisa Morales, as I already mentioned earlier during the game that she will soon be moving back to France. But I'm sure she'll be wanting to grow the game of Australian rules football over in France and possibly in other European countries too. But anyway, congratulations girls. 25 goals and behinds equaling 175 points to zero. Kalani Vale's biggest ever win in women's history. Great way to end the season. Bring on finals 2K18. Ashley Page takes off the headgear, ready to get herself ready to sing the song. We'll just stick around with the girls and sing the song with them just for one last time before finals start next week. Well, I reckon the girls will either be up at Weirman Field, Musselbrook, or Max McMahon Oval in Rutherford, the home of the Maitland Saints, depending on what the score is between Nelson Bay and Wyong Lakes. But I saw at halftime earlier that it was 16-1 Nelson Bay's way. But if Nelson Bay do come away with the win after back-to-back -back losses, the finals game will be up at Musselbrook. Happy days for Kalani Vale once again. Congratulations once again to the mighty Kalani Vale Bombers bring on finals for 2018.